All right, but I've had a lot of questions from you guys um, on how to do a manicure and well, this is a perfect opportunity to use my friend to show you guys how to do it. So here is all the stuff you're going to need. Um, base coat, top coat, you guys know all of that. Um, some lint-free wipes, preferably. Um, a cuticle nipper, but you might not really have to use this. I will show you later. A cuticle remover. I'm just using this one by Sally Hansen. It's um, one that has uh, aloe vera in it. And it will work just fine. I'm also using this tool, which is called a curette. And I've used this in one of my videos last year that I did. Uh, it was sort of like a mini manicure video. I will show you how to use that. And I'm also using a glass nail file. Uh, this is the best nail file to use when you're working with natural nails because it's very fine and uh, it seals the free edge of the nail really, really well. I'm also going to be using some cuticle oil and this is just a CND solar oil, but any oil will do, any vitamin E oil, you guys know that by now. Uh, over here in the far end, I have uh, my little water hand bowl and uh, just my towel here for my friend to have her hand on and yeah so let's get started okay everyone so the first thing that you want to do is well this is what I actually like to do uh, first before I even soak the hands into the water I like to use my file and just give the nails a really good um, filing this way you kind of have a basis of what you're working with and it's easier to file nails before you stick them in the water because water will is like a sponge to your nails so your nails will absorb the water and they will lose their shape so if you do um, soak the hands in the water and then file your nails might not be nice and even so I always like to file the nails while they're nice and dry right before they go into the water with a glass file, you hear a lot of things, people saying that you should file like one way and then the other. Um, I don't really find it that case. Um, you can file both ways as you can see here. This is one of the nail tech files. It's a crystal glass file. What I like about it is it's got grit on both sides. Some files will not have that and they're very thick. This one is not. It's actually really, really nice. So if you can find one of these, that's great because uh, they're really really nice. I got mine at Ulta and I think it was about mm, $10 or so. Glass files are a little bit more expensive but they're going to last your lifetime if you know how to take care of them. Okay so I filed all the nails now I'm just going to go ahead and apply the cuticle remover and just put a little little dot on the cuticle and I'm oh I forgot to tell you guys you need like a little brush this is an old makeup brush that kind of broke but I like to use it for the nails I'm just spreading the cuticle remover around the cuticles just to get it nice and even and then this hand is going to go into the little water bowl that I have on the side here for her so right out of the shot over here she's gonna put her hand right in there and she's going to soak that for maybe about five minutes or so maybe less okay so I'm just waiting for the other hand to come out of the bowl but I've applied the cuticle remover to the other hand what you can do is use this little brush to kind of um, swirl around the cuticle remover this will help to remove some of that dead skin faster and it's also really really gentle uh, sometimes you know using like these tools to push your cuticles they could be a little bit too rough so if you want to be very very gentle you can use like an old uh, eyeliner brush or something like that that you guys have one that's stiff enough that you can actually you know push against your cuticles
Okay, so I've removed all of the um, cuticle remover. Now I'm going to use one of these cuticle nippers, that's what they're called. And not every nail will need this little instrument. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's really, really hard. My camera doesn't really zoom in, but sometimes around the cuticle you get little hang nails like this. Those you really want to clip because they, when they catch, they will tear a lot more and then they will start to bleed. And then you get, you know, situations like that right there, which can be really, really painful. That's what happened here. She probably had a little cuticle that kind of, a little hangnail that got caught and it started to bleed. So uh, what I usually like to do is just nip only the little piece that's sticking out, not more. I see a lot of people, uh, you know, clipping all around the cuticle. You don't need to do that. Some of this is live skin right here you don't want to cut that and make the client bleed so just do spot treating I actually never really barely ever use this on myself but like I said only when I have little hang nails is when I like to use it uh, especially in the winter I think that's the most when you'll need to use it because the weather is so dry that uh, you get a lot of dry skin around here And be just very, very gentle. You know, the client shouldn't feel like you're, you know, pulling her skin away. And you're just pressing gently and because these are so sharp, they will just cut away only what needs to be removed. Nothing less and nothing more. So like this finger, this finger is in pretty good condition. There's not nothing on there. This one has some damage, so we have to do some hydrating therapy on it to get it back to heal. But again, there's not much you can do here. There's a little bit of lifting up there. You might want to cut that off. And that's basically all you really need to do. Um, sometimes when you take your hands out of the water, you might have like a little bit of frayed uh, nails underneath. You can always just go back on the file and just give them one last file to make sure there's no little bits of nail sticking out. And just perfect your nail. And that's it. This is all there is to it. Now what you want to do is take your cuticle oil. You want to give these nails a really good hydration. Don't forget underneath the nail too. 